The most basic controls in WoW are W, A, S, and D. W moves forward, S moves backward, and A turns left, and D turns right. Some other movement controls are Q and E, which are strafe left and strafe right, or just move left without turning the camera, and move right without turning the camera. Space bar can be used to jump. In World of Warcraft, you can also control the camera. If you hold down your left mouse button, you can change your view and look around you. If you hold down your right mouse button, you change the view of your character, and you'll have your character turn around. If you press W while changing your view with your right mouse button, then you will walk in the direction that your camera is facing. Another thing about the camera is the third mouse button, or the scroll wheel, will zoom in or out of your character's view. So try to find your middle ground and stick with it. Certainly, if you're in first person view, you won't be able to see as many enemies. But if you're too far away, you might lose track of where you are. Say you have a quest underwater, and you don't know how to swim. This is a problem. Well, it's pretty easy. In order to swim, it's the same way you move your character with your camera. You right-click and hold, and you press W, A, S, and D. You will have a breath bar, and if your breath is running low, you will start to lose health very, very quickly. So you don't want that to happen. So if your breath is running a bit low, you can press space and it'll take you straight up. Aside from movement, probably the most important controls are down here, on your action bar. Here you will have all the skills available to your character and your particular class and talent specification. Um, each number will have a skill associated with it, and if you press the number on your keyboard, then that skill will be used. For example, if I press 3, I will use my roll. I can also click 3 and use my roll. You will eventually need to add abilities to this action bar. It starts off with only some basic abilities that your class comes with, and each time you level up, it will either automatically add it to your bar to, until level 10, or you have to add it manually. To add something manually to, to your bar, you access your abilities, which you can press P, or look at your spellbook, and go to either your specialization or your general, Pick an ability that is not a passive, such as, say, I want to have Tiger Palm on my bar. Again. And you drag it, and you drop it onto your bar. If you are unable to edit your bar like this, then press Escape until you see the game menu. Go to Interface, go to Action Bars, and make sure the Lock Action Bars is unticked. Using items is important in World of Warcraft, so it's good to know how to access your inventory. You can either access it by pressing your backpack here, or by pressing B, which opens all of your bags at the same time. There's a separate icon for each bag, but probably you want to press B every time. In order to select an item and move it, you can left-click it and click to wherever you want to move it. For example, you can move it onto your action bar, if it is usable. And in order to use it, you can right-click the item. 
For example, if I right click the mining pick, it will equip it to my character. And now, if I draw my weapons with Z, I can see that I have a mining pick. Being able to talk to other players is a huge part of World of Warcraft. In order to do that, you can press enter and type whatever you want to say. There are different channels for chatting. One is saying, which is the current mode I'm in. If you type while say is active, you will broadcast your message to whoever is near you. Another forum for chat is your party. And you get to your party chat by pressing slash P and space. And typing whatever you need to say. Another chat is guild chat. And in order to get to that, you press slash G and space and type whatever you need, want to say to your guild. Now, first thing I want to do when I start playing WoW is get a quest so I can level up. So if you look to your upper right hand corner, you'll see this mini-map. And on that mini-map is an exclamation point. That is a quest. So let's go to that quest. Okay, here's the quest. Now in order to get to the quest and read the quest log, I'll have to right click it and I can read what it wants me to do. It'll tell me the objectives in a short like one to two sentences and it'll also tell me the rewards available, the, what, what it's offering for the, for the completion of the quest. Once you have a quest, it's useful to check your map to see where your objectives are. Now if you look at your mini-map, there will be this golden arrow, and if you scroll over that golden arrow, you'll see which quest it's directing you towards. So in this case, it's Stormpike's delivery for me. So I can click that, make it my main quest if it isn't already, which it looks like it is. I can click the title to open up the quest log. I can abandon this quest or track it on the map. And in order to see a larger version of this map, I can go ahead and press M. And right now it's only showing me Stormwind City. Um, Stormpike's delivery is not in Stormwind City. So I'm going to right click and zoom out of the map and sort of look at this quest description again and see that it says Loch Madon. And look to my map and scroll over the various regions until I find Loch Madon. Then left click and you'll see that my objective is there in the upper left hand corner of Loch Madon. These winged boots that are blue indicate flight points on the map. This means that you can fly there from any other flight point within your level. You can find any flight point in your region by just opening up your map with M and looking for a winged boot. For Alliance, it's blue. For Horde, it's red. Yellow winged boots are neutral flight points and can take you if you're Alliance or Horde. Say you've just completed a quest and got an item and you want to equip it. So, you press B and open up your bag again. Look for the item. Say I got another trusting mining pick from this quest. And see if it's better than your current equipment by pressing, pressing Shift. Usually, if you see a lot of green numbers, then that's good, which means it's better than your current equipment. And if you see a lot of red numbers, that's bad because it's worse than your current equipment. Once you decide if uh, an equipment is good for you to equip, you can right click it and it'll be equipped to your character. If you want to see the stats of on your character right now, of all the equipment, 
Then you can press C, and it'll open up a window which shows everything you have equipped to your character at this moment. You scroll over, you can see each of their stats. Say the item you got from a quest is not useful for you right now, or you just killed a bunch of monsters and you have a bunch of things you need to sell because your bag is full. Well, you just look for a merchant that either has a bag over them when you scroll over, or an anvil. In this case, this person has an anvil, so I can right-click them and either buy, buy a weapon that is more beneficial to my class from them, or sell something I have that's not useful to me, but also worth, like, for example, 14 copper on the shiny fish scales to the right. So I'll sell them and get copper. If I ever sell something by mistake, you can go over here. This is the buyback section. You can either click the sl slimy murloc scale or go down here or click the buyback tab. If there's anything here that you regret selling, you can buy it back for the same price that you sold it for. 